Apple designed the hardware and Google designed the software. Nokia slapped on the Z launcher and sent it to Foxconn for manufacturing. That's right, it's the Nokia N1. Now, Nokia announced a brand new tablet, the Nokia N1, an 8-inch Android tablet that looks like a complete iPad mini ripoff. Sorry Nokia, but that's just a fact. Is this tablet worthy enough for us to take a look at it? Let me share my thoughts and views on the iPad mini. Oh no, the Nokia N1. Well, let's get the specifications of the tablet out of the way first. The tablet is 8 inches, with a resolution of 2048 by 1536. It's also powered by a 2.3 GHz Intel Atom processor, accompanied by 2 GB of RAM. We have 5300 mAh battery, which will give you quite a bit of juice. On the back, we have a 8 megapixel snapper, which you can record 1080p video on. This is accompanied by the 5 megapixel front facing snapper. The device comes with no expandable storage, so you have to learn how to leave with that built in 32 GB of storage. The Nokia N1 is made from a single piece of aluminum with slightly rounded corners, which resembles something from another manufacturer. I won't say who, but I believe you already know. This is a big change from the colorful Lumia devices that Nokia made in the past. You will have two color options, which is natural aluminum or lava grey. Basically, there are different shades of grey. In terms of software, it runs Nokia's Z launcher on top of Android 5.0 Lollipop. Nokia described the launcher as predictive, as you are able to scribble a letter or two in order to find content on the device easily. Over time, the launcher will learn what applications are in use and will predict what the user wants to use based on the time of the day and the location. The major things that I'm impressed about about the tablet is the price and the Type-C reversible connector. For the price, the tablet only retails at $249, which is pretty good steal for the specifications. This makes the iPad mini looks really expensive. For the Type-C reversible connector, it is basically a micro USB that can charge on both sides. Well, this makes the port look more like a lightning connector on the iPad mini, but well, it looks really good. Well, the announcement of this Android tablet from the company that seems to be in the Windows Phone ecosystem is really surprising, especially how the tablet comes with the latest version of Android and some pretty decent specs. Well, I don't have any hard feelings for the tablet, but I really hope to see something more from Nokia in the future. Once again, if you guys enjoyed this video, do leave me a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, and once again, I will catch you on the next one.